Hello there and welcome to the Premier League preview for Leicester City versus Brighton. Two teams that are in two completely different positions in the table. I seem to say that a lot as well. But two teams that had some differing results in the last round as well. Leicester, they came up against Watford last time out and it was a 1-1 draw. Two late 90 plus minute goals by both teams. It's both scored by defenders. Leicester will be wanting to improve upon that when they come up against Brighton. Whereas Brighton came up against Arsenal and they really fought and battled really hard and they got a good victory over Arsenal as well in the 95th minute by Malpe. Um, the pantomime villain by some Arsenal fans but it was you know fully credit to him for getting that um, result anyway how do these two teams really weigh up against each other now what what Brighton have got to realize when they come up against Leicester is that it's going to be coming up against a different animal to coming up against Arsenal Leicester have way more quality in every every part of the pitch over Arsenal from goalkeeper defense to midfield to attack so Brighton are going to have to work twice as hard and twice as efficiently and twice as well as they did against Arsenal. Now, will they be able to do it? They sprung a shock against Arsenal. I didn't think that they were going to win the game. I thought that they were going to draw that game, but they came out with a victory against Arsenal. Now, Arsenal at the moment seems to be crumbling a little bit. They're not doing too well. So whether it's a great measure of how well you can do as a team to come up against Arsenal and beat them, Arsenal on their day, they can win. They can score good goals. They've got, you know, good strikers um, for the most part. But Leicester, once they get going, and I think that the second game from this, uh, you know, you start to see those teams that have played their second games. Like, well, Man City are a bit different because they're just a bit of a juggernaut anyway. But when they play the second games, we, I've seen it in the Bundesliga where they play the second games and it seems like they're starting to get their groove back a little bit more. So the second games could be vital for both of these teams to see what will happen, not just in the game that's coming up, but games that are going to come up after this one as well. And Leicester could actually really start to find their groove a bit quicker than Brighton, just due to the quality difference that Leicester have in their team as well, the players that they've got available to them. So if Leicester can find their groove in this game and start to find the likes of a Jamie Vardy um, up front and whoever else that might be playing for them, then it could actually be... Um, it could be a good result for Leicester. Brighton have shown in many different games that they are able to, you know, with that amount of draws as well, you've been, you know, 11 draws over the course of a season. All right, 12 losses, fair enough. But they've got the least losses in the bottom five, um, well, bottom six, actually. They seem to, they can frustrate opposition. Um, they frustrated Liverpool at one point as well, which was a really difficult game. I think Alisson got sent off in it um, as well. Um, they are a difficult team to come up against. And I'm not saying that they won't cause problems for Leicester. But I think if Leicester have got everybody available, fit and available, like Jamie Vardy and everyone like that um, moving forward, people in the midfield as well, like T. Elements, um, uh, the only the only player that Leicester are missing for the rest of this season is Ricardo Pereira um, at, at right back. And he does, give him, he does give them a lot. That's the one thing that they miss on the right-hand side is his overlapping runs, his attacking runs, his pace... Um, and also he's a goal scoring threat as well from distance and in the box. So they do miss that. They will miss that. But I still think that Leicester should have the quality against Brighton to go on and win this game. The only thing that would stop Leicester from winning this game is if they play a similar sort of game like they did against Watford, who are just one place below Brighton at this moment in time. Brighton, on the other hand, need to look to frustrate. They need to look to... You know, they, w they won't have the possession. They won't have the possession in this game. They will need to... You know, get behind the ball and try and break as fast as they can to get in behind Leicester. That's the one thing that they will have that could go in their favour is that Leicester and Brendan Rodgers' style will be to keep the ball as much as possible, move it as quickly as possible um, in and around uh, Brighton. And then Brighton will need to look to counter as quickly as possible, using the likes of Malpe um, to get on the end of the balls and just go running, just keep running. The one thing that... Um, Apart from Soyuncu, Leicester don't necessarily have the quickest um, defenders in the league. So that is one place that they could look to exploit. Leicester should have, have enough quality in this game um, you know, to be able to cause some damage here. But don't rule out Brighton either. I think Brighton could also, again, 
cause another bit of a shock. They're still not out of this relegation battle, although they're quite a little bit ahead of likes of West Ham and Bournemouth and Watford. It's they're still not out of it, and you know one loss or two losses could just take you straight back into it, depending on what happens with the teams that are below you as well. I fully expect this to be a little bit more of an action-packed game, a little bit similar to like Leicester and Watford. Um, it was probably one of the most exciting nil-nils right up until it went one-one. Um, it was a really good game, really action-packed, both ends. Um, I expect it to be a little bit more like that as well. I'm going to predict. I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for a one-one draw between these two, which. It doesn't really do a great deal for Brighton. Brighton probably need the win a little bit more to just take themselves a little bit further away from those that are below them. They can't go any higher than 15th. They can't go any lower than 15th at this moment in time. But they'll be wanting to pick up at least a point. And I think that's what's going to happen. I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw. I think it's going to be an end-to-end -end game. Um, if anyone's going to win this game, I think it would be Leicester. But I just think that it's just going to be... I don't know. I think it's going to be action-packed. I feel that Brighton will frustrate Leicester a little bit too much. Um, and I'm not sure whether Leicester will be able to break them down enough. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw as a prediction. But let me know what you think in the comments below ahead of this game. Who do you think is going to win out of Leicester versus Brighton? Can Brighton make another shock? Or will Leicester steamroll Brighton? Or do you think it will also be a draw? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do like it and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you once again. And I'll catch you later.